We have so much to talk about. We have so much to laugh about. All here on Finkley. What's up, everybody? This is actor Darren DeWitt Henson, and you're watching The Michael Finkley Show. Stay tuned, because there's a whole lot more. Hold your brakes. Fox Soul is in the building. General Manager and Head of Programming at Fox Soul, Jane DeBose is As here. As he talks about his incredible network, Fox Soul. Next, Michael Finkley. Coming up next. Welcome to the Michael Finley Show. Thanks for joining us today. Now, y'all, you have to remember, I keep talking about my show, right? It has been a dream come true of mine. It's been a dream of mine forever. I just never knew how to get started. And it stemmed from my mom. She was in radio for almost 20 years back in her hometown of Mullen, South Carolina. And I would go to the, I would call in. I'm like, Mama, can you play this song or that song? And as she played it, I would record it through the tape recorder and uh, just listen to it. I had like a stack of tapes I listened to these gospel songs with. And growing up on talk shows, you know, if you were to stay home from school sick, right, you would get to watch all the talk shows that your grandma watched. And we watched Oprah, we watched Celeste Jesse Raphael, we talked, we watched Phil Donahue and Montel Williams and Maury Povich. And just seeing the art of talk, right, seeing the art of talk. And so I'm so glad and so fortunate enough to have this platform. It's so important to me. I love what I do. And it's just, it's grown on me. It's just still growing on me as well. Just the awesome guests that have, um, you know, come on and share their stories. And our guest today is living his dream as well. And as he continues to thrive in his excellence, he is making a difference in the community as well. I'm talking about the head of programming and the general manager at Fox Soul, Mr. James DeBose. He tells his story like no other, y'all. It's a story you don't want to miss. Think fam, don't you go away. Back in a moment. Coming up, James DeBose is with us. Back in a moment. This is RJ Smith. I play James on The Rookie on ABC. And right now, y'all are tuned into The Michael Finkley Show. Check it out. It's awesome. Let's get it going, y'all. On the next Michael Finkley. The booking magnet herself, Christine Horn, is here. She talks with us about how she got started in the business, her current projects, future plans, and so much more. Next Finkley. Thursday. Hello everybody, it's Finkley from the Finkley Experience. We're an educational consulting firm that specializes in first generation education. So we assist students with their college and career endeavors. We train school administrators on the state of first generation students. And also we partner with colleges and universities to assist their first generation population for easy transition from high school to college. So if you're looking for a presenter or a speaker that presents on these topics and so much more, visit our website at thefinkleyexperience.com and learn about all that we do. We're looking forward to working with you. everybody, welcome back to the Michael Finkley Show, y'all. I'm excited about this next guest. He is the general manager and the head of programming at Fox Soul. He is James DeBose. James, thank you for being with us today. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, really appreciate it. It's an honor. Sir, when you said yes, I almost peed my pants because <laughs> you, uh, you have started something great great for the people of color, for the black folks here. And <laughs> we get to see individuals that look like us on TV even more so. So what you're doing is fantastic. And I'm, I must say, um, I'm a big, big component when it comes to our gifts and our talents, right? A man's mm -hmm. gift will make room for him. Love that scripture. Mm -hmm. So when it comes down to a man's gifts, right? How have you honed in your gifts for your own personal success? 
No, that's, that's a great question. I appreciate that. I think, um, you know, honestly, for me, I really didn't even realize my gifts until I had some real dark days mm-hmm. uh, when you really have to lean into your gift because you can forget that. Things were becoming so, I don't want to say easy, but um, naturally. I was really being blessed to be able to do all the things that I was doing that you think um, that's the way it's supposed to go, right? Um, this is the way it's supposed to be. But, and, 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 and I started to believe that it was my success that brought me my gifts. When at the end of the day, it's really your gifts that bring your success. Right. And, and that's the way I was working. But until you, until me personally, I was going through some dark days and I really had to lean on my gifts, uh, be it strength, creativity, God first and foremost. Um, that's when I started to realize that that's really what not only success is about, but what life is about and what peace is about. Um, and, and so, you know, we, we do things in this business and, and, and in life, quite frankly, we try to get as much money as we can can have and the most luxury things that we can have. And, and there's something in, in the word that says, you know, the, the richest man is not the one with the most money in this bank, it's the one with the most peace in his heart. And, 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 and when I started to really lean into my gifts and understand the blessings that, that they were, um, the peace came. And when the peace came, the real success came. And, and that's how I look at it. And you know what? That's something that we can't pay for, right? We can't pay for peace. We can't pay for that concept. It's something about peace, right? That keeps us grounded, that keeps us motivated, that keeps us going into that next journey in, in the next phase in what we call life. Peace that passes all of them standing. Peace. I love it. I love it. And I, I'm an awesome firm believer as well that things happen for a reason, right? You went to college, right? Wake Forest University, North Carolina. Um, sports brought you there. And when it comes down to your education, I'm a big component of education. Being the first generation, being from South Carolina, being first gen, big advocate when it comes there. How did your education assist you to where you? were going to be in your life? You know, I realized at Wake Forest, I went there to play football. Um, that's where I really started to really understand that it was about relationships, you know? Um, so the, the relationships that I built at Wake Forest that I still have to this day, um, people that were before me at Wake Forest that took a liking to me and helped me get in front of certain people um, in Hollywood, you know, when I decided to come out to Los Angeles, um, was very important. And I also learned about character um, at Wake Forest. That's what really, at the end of the day, what sports taught me, what the relationships at Wake Forest taught me, because there was a saying, and it's so true, it says, don't let your money take you where your, where your character can't keep you. And, 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 and uh, character was so important at the school, which, and I wasn't great at it all the time. You know, young, thinking I knew it all, had so much success in sports. And when people take a, a, a real liking to you, you know people care about you when they tell you when you mess it up, when they really speak to you about um, the things that you, they see you doing wrong and that you have so much potential to do better. Yeah. And so from there, I learned the, the, the importance of genuine relationships, where it's a win-win. Yeah. A lot of relationships and a lot of people want to come into relationships where it's a one-way street. They get it all. Um, they want to withdraw and deposit nothing, right? And, 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 and that's a lot of relationships, be it business or personal. And so after Wake Forest and, and, and learning more and more I could there, I realized that the, in order to really um, move forward in life, it's going to be based on relationships. And relationships has got to be one where you both are withdrawing and depositing with each other. Mm, mm. There you go. There you go. And <laughs> Exactly. Like I said, I'm a big component when it comes down to college students that really want to go into college um, as well. And that's one thing I tell them all the time. Continue to build yourself. Continue to start those networking um, opportunities at a very early stage in college because you never know where it can help you in the long run. I love that, Mm -hmm. sir. Um, You know, being from the South, I've always heard my grandmother say, Baby, troubles don't last always. They don't last always. And so we see the glitz and glamour of you today. Was it always easy getting to this point? No. um, 
you know what? I, I don't I don't really see the glitz and glamour at all, honestly. Um, and I've said my story, and I'm, I'm going to try to hope not to be long-winded in this, but it's very important to me because I hope somebody else could, could really get a hold to it. Is at one point in my life, I felt like I had everything that I've ever dreamed of. Um, I was at my highest career-wise. I was at my highest financially. Um, everyone knew my name. Everyone was coming to me. And I was miserable to the point that, you know, suicide was an option for me. I went to, by the grace of God, someone at BET, Loretta Jones, paid for me to go get help. I, I was really um, reaching for things that, because I just couldn't fill that void. I couldn't find that peace. I couldn't find that happiness. And when I got to where I thought I wanted to go, it didn't feel right. It didn't feel like I thought it was going to fit. And that's because as I can look back now, um, I hadn't handled myself. And so I try to tell people the first business you're going to run is you. And if you can't get you together, your other business may be successful well for a while, but it ain't going to uh, be a long standing thing. Um, you incorporate is the, is the most important business in the world. And so going through those times, again, goes back to everything in peace. It brought me peace now. I probably sitting in the chair I sit in at Fox Soul in terms of prestige, if you will, um, higher even before I went through my, my dog days. But I look at it different. I don't identify myself by the chair I sit in. I, I identify myself by the people that I can lift as I continue to climb. I identify myself by the people that I can help make their lives better. And so these days I try to look at myself as a tree. And when it's all said and done, I want my tree to have as many branches as possible. And those branches represent somebody that I've helped change their life. So that makes me comfortable in the seat that I sit in now. And at peace when I wasn't comfortable prior because I was looking at it all wrong. I was going through what I need to go through internally. And now when you find yourself and when you understand the most important part is to work on yourself every day, you can give to others and you can give to yourself without ever thinking about what I'm getting from it. Um, and so that that's really, I think, those dark times that propelled me to be here today, but have peace while I'm here. Mm, oh my gosh. I, I love the way you talk about the tree, right? You want that tree to represent the many persons that you helped along the way. And that's paying it forward because someone did it for you, right? And you're continuously doing that. How are you paying it forward for others? What kind of things do you do? Well, there's a, there's a lot of things behind the scene. I'm not one that, that puts up, you know, I, I try to do people from my heart. So a lot of people call me privately, ask for my advice, ask me to help them connect with this or do things. And I, I just do it first and foremost as a way to say, God will always look out for me. He's brought me through the darkest of the darkness. So I'm not concerned about what I get from this. It, it'll come from giving you. So I'm always there willing to answer calls, to answer however people decide to communicate with me. That's first and foremost, because most importantly, Sometimes people don't need advice. They just need to know that they matter. You need to know that somebody sees them outside of what they potentially could do in the work they're doing, right? Everybody's important. So that's the first thing I try to do is make people realize their value and that they matter. Now, sitting in the seat that I sit in here at, at, at Fox Soul, I try to really, really focus on bringing as much Black creativity to Fox as possible. Um, I, I try to teach people about owning their own IP. Um, putting people in position that uh, probably are a lot smarter than I am, right? Which, which, is, which is very smart, but also having black faces and black minds from top to bottom, not just me sitting in the seat, not just me being a boss pointing. I try to get out front. If we got to go through the dirt, I'm going to be the first in the dirt. If we try to go through success, I'm going to be the first to go through it because I know the people that are with me as broad as that success. So my paying it forward and helping people and the best I can in the seat that I sit in is providing them with opportunities um, that they probably wouldn't get anywhere else. But also, most importantly, is them showing them how to work on you, that they matter, that they have value. They have value with a penny or with a million dollars because value starts inside. And that's what I try to show people through picking up the phone, re returning their DMs or, or LinkedIn or whatever the case may be. Um, if I could do that, most people have, we're all great. God put greatness in all of us. That's what we got to understand. We just need some people to help us recognize that and pull it out. 
And so outside of people giving people jobs and helping people connect with their shows to other things, whatever the case that may be, um, my first order of business is to make sure you know how valuable you are. Yeah. yeah. It definitely matters. It definitely matters. And it's important to be validated. Yeah. We all need to hear it at times, right? We all need to hear it at times, especially mm -hmm. in the time we live in now, that we need it more than ever, right? Um, and also to those key factors that make us who we are. So we see that you are a man of faith, right? You're a man of faith and your spirituality does matter to you. Does it motivate you to continue on from day to day? Motivate? Uh, I don't know if it motivates me, but I'll, I'll say it keeps me going. Uh, it, it is the inspiration. It's my foundation at the end of the day. Um, because now, without a shadow of a doubt, I know who giveth and who taketh away. And there's nobody but one person that can do that, right? So no matter what I'm going through that day or how difficult the day may be or have been yesterday, um, there's always a purpose behind it. So my faith is what keeps me, again, I'm always going to go back to that peace thing. I'm always going to go back to have a, a peaceful heart and a peaceful mind. And knowing that what's for me is for me. And if I sincerely work towards my goal and be patient, uh, everything I ask for will come. Like, I don't just believe in the, the curses or the negative part of the word. Um, you know, the word also says, asking you shall receive, seeking you shall find, knocking the door shall open. I believe in that as well. So yes. I'm going to hold God accountable to what he's promised me and do my part, but then I know it's going to come. So yes, that, that, I don't want to say it's motivation, but it inspires me um, to never give up. Absolutely. There you go. And he's not slack concerning his promise. Whatever he yeah. says, it's going to happen. Absolutely. There you go. He can't lie. He can't lie. Yeah. And we see where you are today and your contributes to the world of entertainment. You are contributing currently, we just finished Black History, Black History Month, you're contributing to Black history as well. How does that feel? I never thought about that, honestly. Uh, you know what? It, it feels, if you look at me like that, if that's what you say, then, then, then that means myself and the team were doing something right. I never, I never look at it like that. Like, I'm not looking at how great I am because that don't even come to my mind anymore or what I'm leaving and so forth. I, I sort of, and I, and I say this sincerely, the fact that, that you and what you do think enough for me to want to have me and sit down and talk to me, that lets me know that I'm, I'm moving in the right direction. So um, whether I have a legacy on uh, in Black history and moving it further in the culture and so forth, I hope so, that, that's my goal. Um, but again, when I'm dead and gone, my goal is that somebody off those branch will continue that. That'll let you know if I've done my job when I'm no longer here. That, that's the key for me. I, I'm going to do it because this is so I'm going to work hard. I'm going I'm, I'm to go at it every day, right? I, I, I'm not stopping. That's just what it is. But you won't really know the effect that I've had until I'm not here. And then someone else is carrying on because they say, you know what I learned from James? I followed James. James helped me do this, that, and the third. That I say that I had an impact on, on, on Black history and the culture. Until then, I don't know. I gotcha. Legacy. Legacy. <laughs> but when we come back, we're going to talk about this awesome streaming television network we call Fox Soul. Big fam, don't you go away. Back in a moment. Next, we talk Fox Soul. Don't you go away. What's the 411? It's your boy, and I'm known for singing Tony Buxton. And you're watching the Michael Fenton Show. Baby! <laughs> Colors. What the? Mm. Mm. Oh, God. Mm. Mm. This one. Oh. Yeah, right, Marine. So I guess we don't stand for colors, huh? I'm sorry, sorry. I, I was starving. What was you eating on anyway? Let me put you on. This that Lucy's hoopy pie. Okay. Okay, okay. Hey, but uh, before you go, Marine, what, what can I get me one of those? Oh, at all the Super Target locations, Sergeant. Okay. And where can you get your chart sheet at in the morning? On your desk. As long as we track it.
Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Michael Finkley Show. We're still chatting with the general manager and head of programming at Fox Soul, Jane DeBose, and we're learning so much about the man behind Fox Soul. But let's talk about Fox Soul, right? Just celebrating two years, January. Whoa, two years. Wow. How did we get here two years later? You know what? First, I want to, uh, I would be remiss not to say it's a lot of people that are working with me that, that have every hand and, and, and should be recognized. And I don't want to miss anyone, so I'm not going to call the names, but every person that, that have been working on Fox Soul from day one, um, inside of Fox Corp, the team that works with me every day, we all got here as a unit, first and foremost. So, so everybody deserves kudos to get us into this two years. You know, it was, it's difficult. Nobody thought we would, we would be here six months from now. And let's be, and let's be, uh, let's be frank, when we first started, you know, the community was calling me and like, you're doing a black network at Fox, Fox with Fox News and the Elevate and, and, and everything in the room. And, um, and you know, it, it, was, it was tough in the beginning because you wanted to make sure that the Fox Corporation wanted to do this for the right reasons. Um, they wanted, they, they, the intentions were pure. Um, and one of the things when they approached me about it back in March of 2019, when we started going through the process and I'm pitching them how it should be done and we did test runs and so forth, um, one, of, you know, one of the main things I wanted to say was that I was not going to be just a black face with other people pulling the strings behind us that are not necessarily of the culture. And one of the first thing they said is, James, that's not our intention. We're going to give you a runway and get out of your way. And I thought that was an extreme blessing. And I must say, um, They've been very true to that word. I, I, you don't hear that a lot in life, but you definitely don't hear that a lot in this business. Mm -hmm. They're going to give you a runway and then get out your way and let you do what you do. Now, granted, they, they, they own Fox Soul. They control the purse strings. Um, but I think if anyone understands, first of all, and being an entrepreneur, starting a business is going to be difficult no matter what, what, what line of work it is. Um, space, what was going to differentiate us from the others? And, and I just, we're going to go back to being live and interactive where, where the viewers could, could interact with our hosts or our experts in real time and get real time feedback. So we wanted to provide a safe place that we normally own discuss things in the privacy of our own home. So we've been true to our mission. We've been authentic to what we said we was going to do from day one. And I think that has gotten us to the growth that we have and to be here two years later because we did not venture off the path of being unapologetically black or consumable by all. Yeah, yeah, it shows, sir. It shows, look at you today. Definitely yeah. shows. And the mission, the mission of Fox Soul has not changed as you stated. What does that next tier look like for you and your team for Fox Soul? The next tier or the next 10 years, you said? Next tier. The next okay. level. So, so obviously we want to venture off into the more genres that, that we, the music, uh, scripted, films, documentaries. But again, I want to just, um, it is continuing to tell the stories behind the stories. And I think that's what we focus on. So no matter what we do in terms of content wise, we want to dig a little deeper, go the deeper route of the stories behind the story. So that next is continue to provide our viewership, wherever they wake up and what type of content they want to see. We eventually want to be the one-stop shop that provides them with all of that. Um, but we're going to do it again in an authentic way so that if you're watching any show that's on Fox Soul, I want you to feel something when you walk away. You may be happy, sad, cry, laugh, angry. I don't really care what you feel because we all go through all those emotions at some point in time, but I don't want you to just be entertained. I want you to be educated and inspired. So our next tier is the first is to increase our viewership numbers, which is important. It's to become a profitable business, which is very important. Um, but the most important part is right now, we love music as a culture. I don't have a music show. Uh, we love the psychology of things, the metaphysical is what I like to call it. We love to learn about each other in our mind. We're working on that. Black kids programming for Saturday mornings that they don't have a place to go to 
that is important. That is, that is very important to me to have that up and running by the spring is bringing back the show that our young kids can wake up to on Saturday mornings, sit in front of the TV and be entertained, but learn and inspire. So those are the things that's the next tier for us. And then eventually my ultimate goal is I want to be able to have Fox Soul as a linear channel while we're still doing the digital as well and have different content on both. That's, that's my vision. Yes, and you will get there, sir. Without, without question. Without yes, question. sir. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. Oh my gosh. And also, you have some amazing shows on the network already when it comes down to Fox Soul Sunday and Worth the Conversation with Jeezy and so many others as well. Um, when it comes down to content, how does how does you and your team choose what, what goes on the network? What does that process look like? It's, it's really a matter of who has a voice that we feel needs to be heard. Mm -hmm who has a perspective on life that needs to be heard and who wants to be vulnerable about their life to anyone else. So you take Jeezy, who I give all the credit in the world to, that's his transition coming from Jeezy to Jay Jenkins as a talk show. He was bringing the viewers to people that most of us never have an opportunity to talk to. John Maxwell, Steve Harvey, Deion Sanders, most of the people that's watching never have a chance to sit down and hear their mind and pick their brains. So Jeezy became the voice of those people and was picking those brains. So that was very important to us. That was his perspective. It's what we really talk about, let's make it worth the conversation. That's where that came from. Um, it, we have the book of Sean with Dr. Sean. Um, McMillan is, is inspiring people. Is, 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 is Again, you may be going through your darkest days, but when you finish watching the book of Sean, hopefully you'll be lifted up and you're ready to get to gym. You're ready to continue to do your thing because now you're inspired. And we have obviously the beautiful cocktails with the queens, um, which black women can talk the way they talk without being judged, without and can express themselves without it being watered down and still wear their crown with pride, no matter how they feel and what they go through. That was so it's women empowerment. That's what that was about. But then TGI Alf and the business of being black with Tammy Matt. So everything that we pick and choose is my first question is what emotion are we trying to give off from this? What are we trying to inspire? And does that person have a voice that people really want to hear? It ain't about the celebrity name. It ain't about that. It is about a voice that needs to be heard because I've learned and if I've continued to learn every day, a lot of celebrities can have 25 million followers, but only 8,000 are really engaged in what you're doing. Right. And so we want engagement. We want people to be engaged with whoever we bring on the network. Yeah. And the engagement is true. And the engagement is real. Two years later, we're still standing. Is it true? We're on the street. Is it true? Films are in development at Fox Soul? Absolutely. 100%. Uh, uh, absolutely. You know, and it started off with um, Fox Soul Screening Room that Vivica, the Vivica Fox host. Uh, we do Black creators that have short films. And now we started to do, um, we did a film called Warehouse Live, which did by Tony Lindsay. Did really well. So it spawned me to say, we need a Saturday night dinner and a movie. We need our own dinner and a movie night. So we got to find those movies that we could do that. So that's where that came from. But that's absolutely in the works. All right. We can't wait for that. Bring it on, James. Bring it on. Bring it on. Uh, I live by this. Um, and it makes more sense to me as I go on within this journey because this platform has always been a dream of mine to chat with people that we can have conversation and learn something from each other because we're encouraged by one another's testimonies. Um, I get this from Oprah. She said that you have a dream, you accomplish it. Now you have a dream or bigger dream. James, what is your bigger dream? To 100% own Fox Home. Ownership is the key. Um, You'll never, how can I, I want to, listen, I don't want people to think that, that they have to all think like that, but I've always been a big dreamer, a big thinker. Um, and you mentioned legacy a little, a, a little while ago. You can't leave a legacy if you don't have no ownership of anything. And so I'm not building this for someone else. I'm building this, uh, to own it and then leave it and, and put it in the culture and let it stay in the culture. Um, and so it's much bigger than me. My biggest dream is to do what Oprah did, 
that young lady was a reporter. I think it's Mississippi, if I'm not mistaken, where she was. And now you see what she did. We don't have to discuss that. Uh, I'm not saying that's my route. I don't know what God has planned for me. But I do know our own Fox Soul eventually because it is already written. That is my biggest dream. And I want to say for you, honestly, sitting here talking, like, it's a difference. I, I do a lot of interviews. Um, and a lot of them, as you can tell, that they're their job. But I could tell you're so passionate, and, and this is your spirit. This is your purpose. So I want to commend you for finding your purpose and walking into your purpose as well. And you, I could just feel that coming from, from this just sitting down, looking in the eye, talking to you, and how you come across. Um, so continue that, no matter how difficult it gets. Like, keep walking in your purpose, because God, God put you there for a reason. So I just yes, want to commend you. I wanted to make sure I got that out before we left. Thank you so much. We, like I said before, we need to hear it sometimes, right? Yeah, uh, absolutely. So, a hundred percent. So, you're hearing it, and it's genuine and sincere, and I can just feel your your spirit, and I, and I really love that. I really love that. Thank you so much, James. Whoa, you made my day. Thank you so much. Oh, how can the Think Fam um, view shows on Fox Soul? Where can we go? All right, so. We're on 17 distribution places, Samsung TV+, Plus, Roku, Tubi, YouTube TV, YouTube, uh, Fire TV, Apple. We have our own app, foxhole.tv. Download the app, support it. Wherever you wake up, if you like watching it on your big screen, we're pretty much everywhere that you could find us, we're there. Um, and, and so that's how you can watch it. Just go on your whatever, whatever app you have on your TV or on your phone. Search Fox so and 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 we're no we're probably there. I love it. And also social media when it comes to Fox Soul. Where can we look? Okay, that's a new one. Uh at Fox Soul. I know that's on, on I only have Instagram, so I don't really the social media thing is not, but I know we're on Twitter, we have Facebook, we're uh IG Fox Soul. Um, so look up, yeah, go 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 find it. We put out great content, even social that's not necessarily on um on the platform and do a lot of stuff exclusively on YouTube interviews and so forth. So again, if you want to be entertained, educated, and inspired, Fox Soul is the place to go. All right. You heard it here, y'all, right here on the Michael Finkley show. James, thank you for being with us and telling us your story, your experiences in your words. We appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Continue doing what you're doing. God bless you. Yes, sir. Definitely. Think fam, don't you go away. Back in a moment. <laughs> Keeping your skin flawless and clean is important, and I have the products just for you. Welcome to Mimi's Natural Pantry, where she specializes in homemade handcrafts, including rye and goat milk soaps, body butters, and sugar scrubs. All items are handmade products. All items have simple ingredients and are vegan friendly. In a world where you can barely pronounce many of the ingredients in your everyday products, Mimi's Back to Nature offers an alternative choice for those who are ready to get back into nature. Ready to order? Visit their website at Mimi'sNaturalPantry.com. All orders over $50 have free shipping up to 25 pounds. On the next Michael Finkley. The booking magnet herself, Christine Horn is here. She talks with us about how she got started in the business, her current projects, future plans, and so much more. Next Finkley. Thursday. Everybody, welcome back to the Michael Finkley Show. I hope that you learned something from my guest today. Thank you so much, Mr. DeBose, for being with us and just speaking your truth in your words, your experiences. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. If you're not already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Michael Finkley Show. Ring that bell for notification. We'll see you an email saying, hey, new content is uploaded. Please listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcast. And for more information about what we do here on the show, visit our website, michaelfinkleyshow.com. Of course, U42. Visit us at u42.com and our content is there as well with some exclusive things happening coming your way very soon thank you so much for watching and supporting us there as well y'all we love you thank you so much for what you do for us and this platform is watching and sharing and supporting y'all we have to let you know we definitely have to let you know thank you so much because we will not be the michael finkley show as we are today not because of 
you. Thank you so much for all that you do for us. And until next time, have a good one.